It's Australian TV's Night of Nights. It's the 57th annual TV Week Logie Awards. I'm Tam Wrigley from iStyle TV, coming to you direct from Melbourne to report on all the fashion, all the fun and all the stars here on the red carpet. So are you, darling. You look gorgeous. What's the inspiration behind your look tonight? Um, I just, I went out, I went shopping, and I went from shop to shop to shop, and I just look for something that's me, and um, and it feels like me. I like to um, maybe be a little bit flash, and um, I'm loving the sparkly shoes. They're Louis Vuitton. I'm a lucky guy. I got no kids, so there's nothing else to spend my money on. You guys are looking great, Anthony. Yeah. What's your look? What's your inspiration behind your look tonight? Uh, inspiration. Okay, I opened up the cupboard two hours ago, I'm not joking, and I went, which jacket haven't I worn in a while, that one, and I was ironing this shirt myself about an hour and a half ago, there you go. <laughs> You're looking Tara. fabulous tonight. Thank you. Who are you wearing? Craig Braybrook yeah. has created this wonderful masterpiece for me to slip into. I'm, I'm loving your dress tonight. It is stunning. Oh, yeah. It's amazing. Uh, Philippa Galasso. Yeah. She made Sophie's as well. Oh, they're both gorgeous. Yeah, she's incredibly talented. She's going to be a household name any minute now. Jessica, who are you wearing tonight? Uh, Rachel Gilbert. Oh, she's lovely. Aussie to designer. Yeah, and what's on your plate for 215? Just. Still, just being happy. Enjoying motherhood? Yeah, love it. Yeah. The girls are at school and it's fabulous. Tell me all about your outfit. Um, my, a dress designer, local designer called Alan LeCar made this dress for me. He's made a lot of my signature pieces this season and he'll be doing my wedding dress. Excellent. And this is your first Logies. How exciting. I know. I can't believe I'm even here. It's a bit of a, a, bit of a trip. Yeah. And so how was your first season on Real House? It was really full on, it was intense and at times it's very upsetting. I'm getting some finger pinch now, so it's fun. Yeah, you made some lifelong friends out of the show? Oh uh, yeah, a couple. Tara from iStyle TV, you are looking so Thank you, thank you. Sam, all your Laura from Sam. I feel beautiful. Now, he made this show special for me and it's very couture. Very couture. So how, how's things for you? What's happening in 215? Well, we just got back from America doing a lot of press, we enjoyed it. It's been very busy here, we've got La Mascara, we're trying to look at taking it internationally, so it's really, really good. We've got a new product coming in our range, so it's been very exciting, very, very humble. And, and La Mascara has taken off? Yes, yeah, it has. Yeah, enjoying it? Yes, we've got a new product called High Tea, so you're going to have to give that a crack. It's, it's vodka and lemon and white peach vodka. So tell me all about your outfit. My outfit is um, by Leila Gowns. Um, I, I think it took her like a week. This girl knows my body. She knows what I want. She gets me. And uh, yeah, I'm very happy. And you look so, so what are you going to enjoy most about going to Logie? It's not your first Logies, isn't it? First Logies, everything. Yeah. What's there not to enjoy? Talking to a beautiful lady. And, you know, how can you not? Beautiful fans. Beautiful fans love you. Who are you wearing tonight? Uh, white, run, right, white runway. <laughs> I got time to <laughs> Yeah. And the clutch is from Olga. Yeah. Olga Berg, Excellent. Yeah, gorgeous dress. And you're just so about well. to go into a renovation rumble? Yes, we're about to go into a renovation rumble. It's How going to be controversial, that? it's scary, I don't know what's going to happen, but it's, it was just tough and it's a battle. Did you not learn battle. from the first renovation? Not to do it again? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so much. Tell me all about your outfit. My outfit is by Stephen Khalil mm -hmm. and I am styled by Donnie Gala and um, I am wearing Sarone jewels and my Clutches my Olga. Excellent. And so, what's, what's exciting about coming to the Logies? Uh, my favourite part always is getting dressed up. I love getting dressed up and um, feeling amazing and, you know, it, it's always with friends and, and lots of fun. So you've just done a new project, Better, ha Better Homes and Gardens. Yes, I've seen a bit of exciting is that? Yeah, it's, it's great fun. I really enjoy it. Um, I'm a bit of a domestic goddess and, and love myself a bit of craft. So, um, I know you make, ham you make handbags. I do, I do, and I love it. 
Um, so it's been a lot of fun and I've also moved to Victoria for winners and losers. So I'm thoroughly enjoying that as well. It's been a big change but lots of fun. Do you miss your home and away family? Uh, yes, a little bit, which is why tonight is so exciting because we get to see each other again. It's really nice. It's a bit of a reunion in a lot of ways. Yeah, I'm wearing Georgia Couture. It's beautiful. Same designer as I had last year. Yeah, yeah. And so tell me a little bit about you and your role in Home Away. What made you want to take on that character? How do you think we... I mean, welcome to the She had a very... Um, I thought she'd get some pretty heavy storylines and, and she did, which has been really cool. I was living in... I was living overseas at the time when I got to the audition and did, the, did it all by a self-test and sent it all home and was lucky enough to get the job yeah. about three years ago now. That's fantastic. Yeah. If anybody spills a drink on me, it's just going straight off. You know what I mean? It's scuba diving material. Very yeah. in, I love it. I just got pockets, which is my favourite thing about the dress ever. Tamara from iStyle TV, you look gorgeous. Well, tell me you. Thank you. Thank you. George Alyssa. He's a genius. I feel like I'm wearing a piece of art. And you do look like you're wearing a piece of art. Beautiful. Yeah. So what's happening in, in Melissa's world at the moment? You're on, you're on our news. I feel like I am. You made the transition. Are you enjoying that? Loving it. Loving it. Nice civilised hours. And you've just been over to Gallipoli. Yes, I have. Amazing. <laughs> that was incredible. So just got back on Friday. So to suddenly go from trudging around in my thermals and boots to rocking up tonight, it's been quite a contrast. Yeah. But um, yeah, very honoured to be here with the news team and be nominated. And I'm very nervous. about this season's trends or what predictions? I've got to know. I've gone back to black. You know, all the dresses that I'm doing at the moment are like, you know, for evening gowns. I just love that chic black, you know, fashion orientated uh, red carpet dressing. I'm not into the big dressmakers moment and like, the, you know, too much carry on and trying to make a big scene, you know, being noticed. I think you get noticed when you wear something that's an incredibly beautiful, chic dress that makes you look, you know, timeless. What's the predictions for our spring summer coming up? Spring summer coming up. Um, what is spring summer coming up? What are we delivering? I'm like three seasons ahead, so I have to do that. Look, there's everything, you know what I mean? Like there's there, like there's so many great Australian designers, everybody does a different thing. I've, I've gone very black and white with a couple of pops of uh, lilac and, uh, and a really hot pink, but it changes all the time, you know what I mean? Like, it, it, you know, it, it, like, I mean, Camilla's like a riot of colour, like, you know, Ellery's black and white. There's all, there's, whatever you want in Australian fashion, I reckon it's there. What are you loving about the season's trends? Oh gosh, I think what's they're, they're so diverse. There's some really fantastic textures like lace, which you're, you're obviously embracing tonight. Um, yeah, Alex Berry. Um, and just those beautiful monochrome tones. I think are great. The man style dressing, I think, is fantastic. It's really relaxing and comfortable for winter. Um, but yeah, I think Australian fashion is just growing and getting better. We're creating great trends for us. So. about the Logies. You know, what's the, my favourite thing about it is that we get to catch up with all our workmates because often, and I work on a travel show, so we're always sent far and wide, we don't get to sit down and enjoy each other's company that often. And I think when you throw Ricky Martin into the mix, it's bound to be a great night. What do you love about coming to Logies? Well, I, I've been coming, for, I was, I won my Logies the first year that they televised it. So it was in the 60s, many years ago. So Logies have always been a bit special, but I love I loved it when Bert was comparing them. Thank you. They were very special then. They used to have lots of wonderful overseas people come, and he had a great rapport. And I was reading an article yesterday where people like um, Sean McAuliffe and Eddie McGuire and all those people were saying it's the kiss of death. Nobody wants to do the Logies, and yet. Bert loved every minute of it. He had a wonderful time when he did it. This is your, is it your third Logies? Meanwhile, also today, we discovered that my roller derby. Green, green, I'm going by dress colours. Green, purple, black and cream, light pink, 
It's my favorite. If there was one movie that you'd want to be cast in, what would that be? Oh God. There's a bunch. I think, um, do you know, I'd love to work with Quentin Tarantino. He's just, I don't know, there's just something in the way that he shoots films and tells stories that's just, I don't know, it's right up my alley. So something like that I'd really love to be a part of. And what are the three things you can't live without? My son, my family, um, and laughter. Okay, some of the highlights. Um, actually, just sitting in the room and seeing these incredible people perform. So there was Bruno Mars, last year there was Kylie Minogue. So it's like going to a concert and seeing great performers every year. So I love that. And you know, this speeches can be either hilarious or way too long. Um, so there's always something to have a good giggle about as well. While you do it, like this is the end of the red carpet, and I'm um, just finally being myself. Whereas it's nice to remember because you put on the frock and you get the hair and the makeup, and you're like, Who am I? and you feel a bit like a funny robot, yeah. And then you just remember, I'm just me, I'm just me, and so that's the best part so far. The best part has been unwinding, and the other best part of my day is that I had hungry jacks. Oh, <laughs> What drew you originally to the series? I think the fact at the time the only thing on television were uh, like procedural dramas, there were hospital dramas, cop shows, of course I was on a hospital drama and I loved it. But this idea of like actually let's number one acknowledge that 75% of people watching Australian made content are women. Mm. What do they want to see? Do you want to see a show about women actually supporting other women and being great friends? And of course, as soon as I started I made some of the best friends of my life and now it's just a terrific job where my friends are my workmates okay. every day. And what are you loving about the whole Wogies experience? I think we're all very excited that we get to be in, in, inducted into the Hall of Fame. Yeah, yeah. yeah. everyone must be very excited. Yeah, we're very excited. Awesome. Well, have a great night. You look Thank sensational. You I love the boot. Thank you. Fancy. No, I've got twenty-two dollar earrings on. Like to me, it's not about it's yeah. not about the outfit. No, no. it's just about seeing everyone. And it's about feeling it's comfortable. Kind of, so comfortable. Uh, so you're out of the jungle and back into yes. paradise. Yes. Can't How wait. Was that experience? Oh, it was hard. Yeah. I think we should probably. It's really it. hard, and I'm glad to be out of it. Wow, such a great night here at the 57th Annual TV Week Logie Awards. Be sure to subscribe to iStyle TV on YouTube to catch every episode as it airs. I'm Tam Rickley and we'll see you next time.